let's make this water splash this is our already made soda can to make a water simulation we need three things one is domain another is flow and another is effector domain is the cube object which contains the effector and flow flow is basically that object which creates water and effector is the object where our liquid collides first of all make a domain we will add a cube shift a to add a cube go to object properties and under view for display change display as wire surround the soda can with this cube by scaling press G and Z so we can include our soda can inside, our, inside this cube now we will add a flow object for this we will use a plane shift A plane scale down scale in y axis move behind the soda can point towards the soda can by rotating it move upwards now we will make this cube as our domain this plane as our flow object and this soda can as an effector object where our liquid will collide select the cube first and go to physics tab select fluid under the fluid type select domain domain type must be liquid let's start our resolution division with 32 later on we will increase up to 128 to make a more realistic water let's make our border collision front back right left top bottom unticked so that it, the water does not collide with any any surface click mesh and set our end frame to 120 we will keep our animation only 120 frames turn on the wireframe and X-ray mode select the plane click fluid type as flow flow type liquid flow behavior will be geometry so that it will throw water once if you select inflow this plane will emit water continuously but we are only creating a single splash so we will remain we will stick to geometry let's change the surface emission to 2 and initial velocity we will keep 100 along our normals now select the soda can click fluid 
fluid type to effector and we will keep our surface thickness to 0 0.1 click the space bar to see our animation the animation is working correctly our plane is throwing the liquid towards the soda can. We can increase our resolution division 64 and see the animation once again. Since we are playing in real time, a, li a little bit of lag is seen. So, we will break the data before playing the animation. Select the domain under cache, select all and bake the data. Our baking is finished. Let's see the animation. The animation is working perfectly. Now let's go to rendered view. Since we have no shader defined for our water, it looks white. You can select the liquid, right click, shade smooth. Now we will make this water look. Go to metal properties, click new. Under surface, click glass BSDF, roughness 0 and IOR 1.33. Let's go to first frame and play the animation once again. To make this animation more realistic, you can increase the resolution division to 128 and bake it again. You can also increase the normal value of initial velocity under the flow object. Tweak the value here and there to make it more realistic. Thank you for watching my video. I will see you in the next video.